This is a statement made by Al Beatty, one of the original heartbeats of the team of people who came together to build that gatehouse back in 1998. He went on to say, I stopped to ask myself just what it would take to make all the time I spent on the gatehouse worth the time and effort. I hope that it might enable those survivors of abuse who have passed through the house to find their voice and to grow, to really grow, live their lives on their own terms. Once when contemplating this, I had an image of an old man, 20 odd years from now, falling on a snow covered street in Toronto. Driving by, a younger man hurrying home hesitates, then stops, gets out and helps the old man up and supports him on his way. He gets back in his car and drives on. The young man, somebody who has found considerable strength in his association with the gatehouse, might not have otherwise cared enough to stop to help another person in need. So, even if that old man doesn't turn out to be me, just the fact that we've enabled a little bit more compassion to enter the world is a monumental reward. For so the world is changed. Albedi. When I think of the gatehouse, it overwhelms me to think it all started with just a thought and a conversation between two people. At first, I felt it was just an idea that seemed too good to be true. Soon after, groups of people gathered to make this dream, this thought, a reality. I couldn't believe how so many people from different communities could come together in a world that usually seemed so cold and empty. I couldn't believe that people actually cared enough to do something so extraordinary. I couldn't believe it until I saw it for myself. Irina, aged 19. Never doubt that a small group of committed people can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Margaret Mead.